All right, what's up, everybody? We're here today, Andrew for life. Please like, subscribe for that algorithm. Let's get some background music pumping in this vid. Um, we're gonna talk about Twitch streamers today and how they're terrible people, okay? So Twitch streamers are awful, okay? Every time I go on Twitch, it's this super weird experience where I'll, I'm sitting there and I'm watching a streamer stream and I'm, you know, for whatever reason, just, you know, enter entertained. I chose that person for whatever reason. Um, and so I'll, I'll be in there and I'll be chilling and everything will be normal until you type anything. As soon as you go on to Twitch and you start interacting with the community that these people quote unquote create. Um, these Twitch streamers that they claim to have communities. I don't think they even do, okay? Twitch communities are a joke. It's just a couple of dead discords that no one gives a shit about. And you only use it to keep up with that motherfucker that you care about, right? Nobody uses the discord to connect and meet people and socialize in a healthy manner that like never happens right like this is the internet okay so it's all toxic it's all bad the the communities that they have like because things are so like poorly led by these twitch streamers too these communities will end up going and attacking other twitch streamers a lot of times because a twitch streamer will say to their community go attack this person uh like pokimane was streaming not too long ago and some dude like threw all these people at her it's like what are you doing <clears throat> why are you telling him to do that that's psychotic you're you're <laughs> advocating for harassment on the internet what the fuck are you doing with your time dude just do anything else i don't know these motherfuckers will ban you. They will uh, get rid of people from their community for quote unquote, you know, being, you know, toxic or whatever. But it's like half of the time, the people that I see getting banned in the little chat that's scrolling super fast. It's like these people that are getting banned are just regular people saying regular things. And the Twitch streamer like Hassan, who, uh, you know has banned me in the past and other people like moist critical that i bitched about i'm complaining about them right now but so you know i'm acknowledging all the hypocriticalness of this video but these twitch streamers sit there and whine and bitch and complain about the weirdest stuff dude and they get so mad about it too that they're like screaming in the mic and like they're having like a temper tantrum I was watching Hassan as Twitch streamer earlier. Someone asked him a question. They said, what do you think about this? This dude took, what do you think about this? And ran with it. Like it was the, like somebody had just asked him why he didn't agree with Hitler. Like that's how it was put. It was like, Hey, um, you know, actually hold on a second. If we had someone, like, moderating this, if we had, or if you were a, a capable of objective thought, you might sit there and say, well, this person is just asking a regular question. I might have overreacted. I might be getting worked up. I might be assuming things based on other people harassing me, and now I'm essentially just creating the cycle, perpetuating it. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? Like, okay... I get it. People, bots and racists and spammers and trolls come in their chat on Twitch and spam shit. So then they have to literally hire moderators to like keep up with it. It's ridiculous. But, but how you react to those trolls and spammers and racists and all that is a big deal too. It definitely matters. And you just banning them or making them look bad for being trolly, racist, whatever. I, <sighs> You know, it's getting to the point where you guys aren't banning trolley racist people. You know what I mean? You're banning like, uh, like some dude 
uh, like this is i'm not making this up right like i should just go in there and record them and their behavior and shit so people can just look back at it from a different perspective because these twitch streamers are just banning people who have been paying for subscriptions for years if you are paying for a subscription to a twitch streamer i don't know what you're doing but you're wasting your money in my opinion they don't give a fuck about you. They have enough money by now to do whatever they need to do for content sake or to survive and be okay. And uh, on top of all of that, they will ban you if you disagree with them. They, it, their, your money isn't even good enough. Does that make sense? Like in a regular world, like you pay someone to listen to your bullshit, then they'll like in a business world like you might pay someone to listen hear you out in a presentation or something for you know business opportunities or something like if you're given a presentation in the, in the business world you do not have this like dictator totalitarian attitude going on that you're all righteous right you're you have to be a wholesome person you have to be willing to take criticism you have to be willing to object like make the right decision when someone's trolling you and then not get so pissed about it and see this is what i think's happening i think they're getting pissed that all these people are trolling them and flaming them and saying the same stupid shit over and over again that they know gets them reactions and then these streamers are not able to handle the situation because they're not emotionally stable enough it's how i'm seeing it maybe i'm wrong okay and that's fine but it seems like a lot of these people have emotional problems at the very least i mean i do i i'm not you know it's not like it's, mental health has a stigma so let's just remember that okay and what i'm basically saying is uh when i say issues i think that these people have mental health problems that should be addressed better maybe or have never been addressed possibly or might be undiagnosed i i've been around a lot of healthy people and toxic toxic ah, people i know what it's like to be a healthy person i've also been a healthy person and a toxic person myself and objectively when you're a toxic person you get really mad about things that people say and may or may not deserve a huge reaction and then you go farther you do stuff farther and that would be for the twitch streamers banning stuff banning people who pay them money. If you pay these people money, stop paying them money because they don't want to hear you disagree with them, okay? And if you are a long-time payer of like three years, they might look at you and be like, no, we won't just ban that guy. But even then, it's like, what the fuck are we talking about? These people are paying you. So the least you could do is shut the fuck up and like take some opinions and shit without being a little bitch, taking 30 minutes out of a stream to complain about it, banning every single person you see who might disagree with you down a huge list because your ego's hurt in front of 30, 50, 60, sometimes 90,000 people if you're XQC and you're actually successful on Twitch. I, I mean, like these motherfuckers, like I'm not successful on YouTube, okay? I just took that stab because I'm an idiot. And yeah. I just felt like saying that because I do feel like a lot of these Twitch streamers get a small audience, a small audience, like, you know, a couple thousand or 10,000, 20,000. Then they just think that they like fucking rule the world. You know, their opinions. All right. Everything that uh, comes through their filter is the correct filter and no one else. And then their audience does the same thing. You guys got to understand they create these audiences too, that are super toxic. Like it's fucked up. It's not okay. Like, um, these audience will go harass people. These audiences will go cause problems, be racial. Like, and the Twitch streamers aren't advocating for terrible things. So you can't just blame them all. There's, of course, responsibility on the viewership. Like, you have to be a responsible person. But these people who are watching these streamers on Twitch, I don't know if they're... I feel like they're coming into this maybe not the most social, not the most grounded. Maybe, you know... It, uh, if you spend a lot of time on Twitch, it could be argued that maybe your social life is unhealthy or there's aspects of your life that's unhealthy if you're spending a lot of time on Twitch. And, you know, these viewers who will stay in an 8, 12 hour stream, I, I don't even know if they're the type of people that you should be taking money from as viewership, as a, as a streamer. I, like, 
I mean, that's a crazy, like, thing to get into, for sure. Like, a lot of assumptions are being made on my end, a lot. But it's just, like... If you are able to look at how much somebody watches you, and you can put together that they don't live in a week, and you're taking hundreds of dollars from them, I don't even know if that's morally... okay. I don't think I'd agree with that. Right? Because... If you're aware, I mean, maybe Twitch streamers are unaware of thinking like this even, you know, like they're rich. Like, it's hard for me to rem remind myself of that because they seem like somewhat normal people. But I, I understand they're celebrities. I understand that they're, you know, there's fame and internet fame. Um, it's just crazy how they act and how they think they can act because of a certain amount of following that they get especially and the more these people get famous the more you'll see shit like this you know the more twitch streamers and the more famous a twitch streamer gets the more you will see from my anecdotal experience at the very least the more i have clearly seen people just acting crazier and crazier it's just like i mean and I think that you could also make a huge case here to say when you get money and you're a regular person and then all of a sudden you have all this attention and this money, it's kind of a lot. And it might take a while to um, learn how to grow off stream and be prepared to be on stream. You know, I, the a lot of these streamers, you know, they have to stream. Like, they make it on the internet and they make tons of money. But then they financially want to live a certain life most of them and so they have to keep streaming to keep that money flow coming and a lot of them stream a lot a lot of them work their asses off streaming a ton but it's still not appropriate to ban people who are paying you and it's not appropriate to have these communities um claim that you have communities and stuff when all you have is a couple dead discords and toxic people attacking streams you know, like none of that's communal, none of that's healthy, none of that's positive, none of your resistance to new ideas or criticism is positive, even if it's really dumb criticism in your opinion. Like, in my opinion, I think the vaccine is a is generally speaking what everybody should be on board with. If you have medical complications, obviously you shouldn't take it. Okay, like people act like that's a crazy thing to say. Uh, the mandates might have been a little much. I'm, I don't know, but I am generally for them. I tell people to get them. If someone came into my stream and was like, vaccines are harmful, vaccines are terrible, I wouldn't want the misinformation to be spread, of course. But I also, if I'm taking money from this person and they have one topic that they're a little, you know, in my opinion, out there on, I can handle that in an appropriate way. I can... I can time that person out for 10 minutes. I can literally address what that person says and say, guys, this is not true. This person, you know, that you don't have to drag that motherfucker through the mud and shoot them with an AK-47 in the skull while you butt fuck their mothers the whole time you're talking about their name. Like, J. John 123 okay, you're not an idiot for thinking that, but, like, let me explain to you why that's not a healthy way to think about this. And I would just go into it. Nah, bro. Not these streamers, bro. Not at all. None, all this good... Like, I understand it's different when you're in the moment. You're streaming for 12 hours. Sure. What the fuck ever. But can you have a little bit of decency about you throughout the entirety of the stream? A little more than we have. Can we raise the standard? Okay, I feel like me saying this is not that hard or harsh, but I feel like a bunch of streamers are going to take this super personally because they're going to get really upset that I'm like, yo, your shit's whack. Step it up. Step it the fuck up. Step the content up. Where the fuck is this money going? Are, are we not paying you to see some better content than like buying the most recent video game moist critical can we see you do something interesting with the money that they've given you you know the the dildo challenges in the warehouse that's all funny and shit do something cool you guys like get other people involved maybe don't have just your five friends from childhood and throw them stacks because you made it and throw them jobs while you're at it like producer and editor how about the motherfucker the thirty thousand people who are starving trying to watch you though that you're treating like shit simultaneously who are much poorer than you does that make sense like 
this is an entire demographic. Twitch streamers, financially so much higher. Demographic of people watching them. Twitch streamers just shitting all over those people. And those people are like loving it. Yo, like, this is just like the workforce. <laughs> it's like the American workforce, bro. If everybody in America just got together, the people who were paid shit. Like, let's say you make less than 15 an hour. Fuck it, 13 an hour. Let's say you make less than that. Everybody making less than 13 an hour should not work. You're putting more, you are creating more value than 13 an hour. Stop what you're doing, everybody. And then guess what happens? Motherfuckers got to start paying people more because CEOs aren't going to get down and do that shit. It's impossible. They don't have the numbers, right? Just like with the Twitch audiences, like you guys are getting disrespected and shit on. It doesn't have to be that way. You could like change that. I feel like I'm trying to point that out and maybe like get that going if anything like maybe getting Twitch audiences just backing the idea that the streamers that they watch shouldn't be able to just ban them when they've been paying them for years shouldn't be able to fuck their lives up like that kick them out of a whole community just because of one opinion that they shared in a chat that some one other person didn't like it's funny too because Hassan talks a lot about like American inequality and like bigotry and stuff and I don't think he's a part of the bigotry nonsense but when it comes to the inequality and the class like uh you know look after your own class don't be a class traitor like uh do, do what's gonna benefit you and the people around you not the people above you who are trying to like like a boss wants you to work as much as possible but an employee wants to work as little as possible like all that stuff that's good stuff to talk about for sure it's it's uh open-minded thinking too but it doesn't seem very open-minded when someone questions you on that and then you get so mad you go on a 45 minute t tantrum like a four-year-old ban that person and show off to the chat that that person was a paid subscriber for years like you're some sort of badass you're not cool because you can ban people in your twitch room no one gives a shit that you ban someone no one ever you never got laid because uh, you have banning someone you never got paid from uh, banning someone right like you've never been up because you banned someone it's just a stupid negative re jerk knee jerk reaction that you have simultaneously while in my opinion being an asshole so quit being assholes look out for your audiences that clearly look out for you moist critical wants to make a video thanking 10 million subscribers then be chill about shit those 10 million people don't come to see you ban motherfuckers every time you disagree with something or uh see train you know go on a 40 minute rampage because somebody said hey good luck in the slots or why aren't you doing this slot it's just like why don't y'all get a grip on your emotional intelligence and learn how to handle your own emotions and feelings as they happen to you day by day, second by second. And if you're so unstable that you have to scream into the microphone like I am while I'm watching you just play a video game or watch a stupid movie, get some help. Get on some medicine that will chill you out. Get on Prozac. Get on some fucking, you know, Xanax. I don't know, but take something... You know, that's not addictive. Don't take Xanax, okay? That, that was a bad example because Xanax is actually a pretty bad drug. And most people will get addicted and use it irresponsibly. Get to a, get see someone with the money you have. Put, invest in your brain and see someone and have them diagnose you motherfuckers and have them, like, give y'all medicine or something. I don't know. Or, or also, just keep moving forward. You know, you could also include this in the itinerary. Just don't be such a wacko asshole about people and their general criticisms i it's not that insane to say that okay so chill out quit banning these people we don't think you're cool from the audience perspective we think you're a jackass every time like i try to show people twitch streamers and put them onto the internet more and they're turned off from it because it seems so toxic and everybody's like why is that guy so mad like i've i've showed like 20 girls off tinder like twitch before they have to never seen they've never seen it and they always go why is that guy so mad and i'm like because these people are rich have a bunch of people tro trolling them and they don't know how to emotionally handle any of it and they don't know what they're doing honestly and they just you know it's all 
just going with the flow. They just turn on that camera every day and the people come. So, I don't know why that guy's so mad. I would like that guy to explain why he's so mad and address it himself, actually. <sighs> Twitch streamers pissing me off. I hate them. I do not like any of them. They have all rubbed me the wrong way. Up, up, up until this point, they have all had some sort of negative interaction with me. And I'm nobody. I'm a nobody on the internet. My channel is 45 subscribers, I think. And I appreciate every single one of those. And I appreciate every single view like a motherfucker. Because I would starve without that shit. Well, hold on. I would starve if, okay, if this was my job. I'm sorry, that sounded weird. I said that out of context. I said a whole sentence out of context. I was meaning to say that if I was a famous YouTuber, I would look at my viewer and my audience and say, damn, I would starve without these people. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I'm sorry I misspoke. But yeah, I, I think that the audience is the reason these people are who they are. Um, What the fuck? We made you. It's not the other way around, homie. It's not. I'm part of the poor people. I'm part of the demographic. Okay? I make content, but I'm no one. So I'm a part of the demographic below the top tier rich streamer platform. Okay? And I really think there's a huge disconnect that even they don't recognize. Even people like Hassan, who spend all day talking about inequality, I th still think he doesn't properly address his own position... Like, he'll say that he's super um, lucky and stuff because of his uncle and stuff like that. But does he truly accredit his success to his birth lottery? I mean, I don't know. I don't know him personally. I'm just asking questions. And it doesn't seem that way when you're acting like an asshole. You know, jackasses typically don't appreciate the money that was given to them, especially at birth. So, I don't know, you know, I'm not, I don't want to get too caught up on that stupid point. It's not the reason I made this video. I, I think if you have a birth lottery, you could still be a great person just like anyone else. But most of the time, if you have a birth lottery, you're terrible. Um, most Twitch streamers, I don't even think they come from birth lotteries. So, it's, I, I'm not trying to say that they're, it's a bunch of rich kids. I don't think that it's a bunch of rich people who may have started off poor, may have started off rich. I don't know. I know some of them did start off rich though. And, and you know, when you start off rich, of course, of course you're going to be an asshole. And of course you need to be open more to criticism. You know that, you know, that as a rich asshole. And you knew that <clears throat> when someone tells you you're going to be rich, here's this money. Here's the situation. When you figured out as a kid, you were rich or whatever, you were like, Okay, I have this oppor I have these opportunities like easily. You know, you're aware. So, just understand guys that the Twitch audiences and community are what I'm trying to support and I feel like the audiences and community are the only people who are going to attack me ironically, but I just want the Twitch experience to be better. I want these guys to chill. I want the stream environments to be more positive, less toxic, less complainy, less ranty, less block you if you question me. I just want that environment to be better because I like Twitch. I think it has potential. I always say I hate it. I think Twitch has mad potential and I think if the leaders of the platform were a little better people in my opinion, the platform would be a lot better off. And I think that there's not too many legitimate people I'm seeing right now coming from that platform. Sure, it's, uh, it's legitimate when you get 50,000 views a stream. But is it legitimate when you throw a temper tantrum because someone asked you one question? No, not at all. And your, like, your, like, goodness or value as a person crumbles if you can't even handle a simple confrontation like that. Virtually, especially. So... You know, just keep these things in mind. Twitch streamers, y'all try to behave, treat people better. Y'all quit banning people. Y'all be open to criticism and try to make your communities a real fucking community. Audiences, I just tell y'all to quit paying these motherfuckers because they don't appreciate you. If you find someone who appreciates you, then feel free to pay on those streams. And other than that, I love you guys. <laughs> I love you motherfuckers. And I thank anyone. 
for their time if they made it this far. Because you are the Tits McGee. I love you. Well, I'm going to go. But you guys think about what I said, okay? Because Twitch and all that crap was pissing me off. So, bleh. I got on here. I said something about it. I really didn't want to make this video. I was really emotional and I'm really insecure, but I'm going to put it out anyways. Peace.